Breaking news. Bandits reportedly stormed Kaduna's airport. Killed one. Prevent aircraft from taking off. You know, when you are joking, when you take a, a lion as a pet, hmm? get ready. When you take it, it's like a cat. It's like, a, you know, it's from the cat family. It's like a little innocent cat. A day will come. It will become so big. It may be what will end your life. I heard of a sad story of a couple who have a white, they have white lions, yes? Do you know it was one of the lions that ate the husband? The wife was there. The lion started eating her husband. The same lion that they took as pets, that they've been looking after, and everything has been going well, they will take the lion. The husband got there that morning from South Africa, so it's not, it's not far away. They have two white lions. One of the lions tore the husband apart. She could not draw clothes. She was watching her husband be torn to pieces. This is what, you know, Nigerian government is doing. Why, why, why wonder any Nigerian that will carry their PVC and go and vote for APC. I will know that you are part of those who have destroyed this country in no small way. And I'm not the one that will answer you. It's God himself that will answer you. For allowing wickedness to continue when you have the opportunity to stop it. Honestly, that's how bad I feel. See what they did today. Breaking news. Bandit reportedly stormed Kaduna Airport. Killed one. Prevent aircraft from taking off. It has been reported that bandits on Saturday, today, stormed the Kaduna International Airport. International. In case you are traveling, don't stop at uh, Kaduna International Airport. Too. Stopped the aircraft from taking off. It was gathered that the aircraft which was built to take off at 12.30 could not proceed due to presence of heavily armed bandits around the runway of the airport. It was also gathered that hoodlums, the same bandit who stormed the runway, forced officials of the airline and passengers to run for safety. It was also learned that the bandit killed the staff of the Nigerian Airspace Management Agency. Ma As I speak to you now, there is already a military presence to beef up security, though most of the staffs are scared with the killing of one of their staff, a source has said. As at the time of the filing of this report, security agencies are, were already at the airport and um, reactions to the incident has continued as Nigerians are wondering what exactly is going on. The northern part of this country has become a different ball game altogether. Here people do different things and get away with it. Bandits now, you know, have a free flow, you know, roaming around and nothing is being done. This is what happened in Kaduna today. Okay, people have, the international airport too, is not a wishy-washy. People are supposed to travel. Go to the airport cannot go because uh, hey, Nigerian government are playing hanking parking game. Okay, they are playing that game. Everybody's trying to understand the other person. You laugh, I laugh, we laugh. Uh, this is what is going on. So the bandits now, you know, you can't even travel. You can't even travel. What, when they are supposed to put a stop to this, they did nothing. When they are supposed to rise up and say no to this, they did nothing. And now it has become, you know, a serious issue and everybody's watching. Listen, Nigerians. If nothing is done to save this situation, I wonder what, what next will follow. Kaduna is where we have Erufai as the governor of the state. So bandits now go to airports to stop planes from flying. And everybody is watching. Welcome to Nigeria. We had those who are supposed to be displaying and dispensing leadership. Sadly, are part of those who are conniving and allowing the wickedness to go. In case you are not aware, today U.S. named some Nigerians who are sponsoring these wicked groups. That's the U.S. they named them. But Nigerian government, Eru, uh, Attorney General said they will not name them. They refused to name them. But United Arab Emirates is naming them. U.S. is naming them, shaming them. But Nigerian government is protecting them, covering them and honoring them. Because they are in government, they are in all forms of you know, leadership as well. They are entwined into the system. And that's why you see corruption written all over the place. The other day, Buhari came to us telling Nigerians, eh, yes, they are doing rice pyramid. When I hear the story of rice pyramid again, Nigerians say, see, let's not be deceiving ourselves. 
this Buhari's government is a failed one. So anybody I will see, go and line up behind APC, I will really know that uh, you are part of those warring the country. You are part and parcel of those who have destroyed the country in no small way and we should check you and watch you out. And really check you because you have no good written in your belt regarding this nation. You are a wicked person. For you to, uh, you know, know what to, you know what is wrong, you know what is not right and you allow it to continue by aiding it, supporting it in whatever way, capacity or manner, then you are a very wicked person. We need to watch out for you. We need to really watch out for you. Kaduna today, people could not travel. 1230 flight, people could not travel. People could not travel. And everybody's quiet. Everybody's watching. Nobody's putting things in place to ensure that this, this nonsense comes to an end. How can this people be roaming free? You mean the whole of Nigerian army. You know why they cannot walk? It depends on who is the commander-in-chief. When you get the commander-in-chief that I've told them, don't engage and just do this, just do this, this is what happened. When you get those kind of, this is what happened. If there are real people who are really serious and have no affiliation and have no stake in the matter and are ready to call a, call a spade a spade and say, you know what, anyone you catch, shoot aside. You will be surprised what we follow. You'll be surprised how this thing will come to an end quickly and swiftly. But because they are the ones supporting, aiding, enhancing and they love it because there is religious affiliation there is a region affiliation people have sentiment towards personal biases in respect of the lives that are being destroyed i don't know what they what they what they stand to gain that they will allow this wickedness to continue and the whole of nigeria nobody's doing anything buhari i hope you are satisfied now they are not stopping international air aircraft from taking off welcome to nigeria we hear these people now, they, they now have a free flow. They now do whatever they want to do. And guess what? Everybody's quiet, you know, watching and pretending like nothing is going on. Unless we begin to tell ourselves the truth and call it spade a spade. It's, a, it's very, the journey is still very far. Very, very far. Tomorrow they'll come to tell you that um, they have repent, repentant bandits. That's the story. You will soon hear it. Wait for it. They will soon come to tell you that they've repented, they dropped their whatever, and before you know it again, they've picked it up. Okay? Before you know it again, they've picked it up. So this is what is going on. Welcome to Nigeria. Welcome. And let your, let your welcome be also welcome. This is it. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.